Hi, I'm Philia Stain and I'm the Safari expert. And in this video, I'm going to tell you more about the best smartphone app about the Kruger National Park, namely Kruger Explorer. And as is always the case in my videos, I'll add any important links and information in the description below, including links to where you can download it for Android devices in the Google Play Store or iPhones in the App Store. The Kruger Explorer app has tons of information, not only to help you plan your trip to the Kruger National Park, but also to enhance your experience once you're there. Now I'm going to mention just five things that makes it worthwhile to download. First of all is maps. Let me tell you what often happens to me. Just before I go to bed at night when I'm in the Kruger National Park, I want to plan my route for the next day. But more often than not, the route map that I bought in the shop is in the car. And that means I've got to get dressed again, go out and fetch it. Whereas now I've got the maps on the app. And vice versa, sometimes I get into the car and I drive and I quickly want to look at my paper map. And of course, I've taken it into the chalet and forgotten it there. But now that the maps are all on the Kruger Explorer app, that's a problem of the past. So when you go into the app and you click on maps, you can then choose a map for a specific region. So let's say we're going to the Southern Kruger. Look at how detailed this map is. So basically you've got all the roads and the picnic sites and water holes, everything that you would find on the normal paper map you buy in the shop. Another feature that's really nice here is, let's say someone told you that the S56 is really good for leopards, but you've got no idea where it is. Simply click on the road index, click on the S roads and then scroll down to the S56 and you'll see that it tells you here that it's northwest of Singwechi. You can then go back to the maps of the Northern Kruger, zoom in and there you see there's the S56. If you like maps, the Kruger Explorer app doesn't disappoint. The second thing I love about this app is their very detailed field guide. They've got all 148 mammal species, over 500 bird species, as well as a host of reptiles and invertebrates. So let me show you what it looks like. If we click on mammals and we then scroll down, you'll see all the different mammals listed below. If you then go and click on a mammal type that has different species like mongooses, they'll be listed below. And what's great is you can click on it and then zoom in to a high res photograph. And that's really handy for identification purposes. This is particularly helpful if you want to identify birds. Let's say for instance you see a Franklin but you don't know what species it is. Simply go to the bird section, click on the little magnifying glass and then type in Franklin. Then just click on a photograph, zoom in and look at the identifying characteristics. And this takes me straight to the third reason I love this app so much you can keep your Kruger life list. Once you've identified the bird, you can then simply tick the little box next to its name and that will be saved to your species life list. So if I go back out and I click on sightings, you'll see that there's one bird listed and it is the Crested Franklin. In other words, if we go to the park and let's say we see uh, Dussy and we see Elephant and we mark these animals every time we see them, and you could then go back out to your sightings list, you'll see that those mammals and birds, of course, will then be listed in your life list. If you accidentally made a mistake, simply click on the animal and untick the box. Oh, and remember, for each animal, it's got all the necessary information you need to know about the animal, including the physical characteristics, the diet, the habitats they prefer, and much, much more. The fourth thing I love about the Kruger Explorer app is that it helps you to identify animal tracks. So if we click on mammals and we click on mammal footprint identification, we can then go to, for instance, large predators, click on the photograph, and we've got all the large predator tracks next to each other. They've also done it to scale, so you can see how much bigger a lion track is, for instance, when you compare it to a spotted hyena track. It also has the tracks for the large herbivores, large antelopes, small antelopes, etc. The fifth and final thing that I'm going to mention in this video, but by no means the least, is that you can plan the routes that you want to drive in the Kruger National Park. Simply click on routes and then the camp routes and then look for the area that you are planning to stay at. So let's say Sitara. And then you'll see a list of routes that you can potentially drive from that camp. So let's say we're planning to drive the S100. It not only gives us information about the distance and time, but also how good it is for game viewing. It'll have a nice little overview about that route, give you the map as well, 
and everything else you need to know about that route. The Kruger Explorer app also has information about where to stay in and around the Kruger National Park, as well as the habitats, eco zones, and much, much more. And downloading it onto your smartphone is worth every cent. If this looks like something you'll enjoy, go to the description below and click on the link to download it to your smartphone. And you'll see in the description, I've also added a link to a great book called Kruger Self Drive Routes, Roads and Ratings, and it really complements this app very well. You can also go to the Kruger Explorers Facebook page where you'll find additional wonderful information and photographs about the Kruger National Park. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up below, subscribe to the channel, and please feel free to ask me any questions you might have in the comments below. Also take a moment to check out my other videos about the Kruger National Park.